Hello my dashers and welcome back. Today Zeus and I are going to show you an in-depth tour of our van which was built by Cascade Camper and named Rickshaw number 295. The reason because it gets me from point A to point B. Want to know more? Come on! So there are six things that we are going to talk about in this van. The first being the cab and what this actual look like without anything in it. The second thing is going to be the kitchen area, what I use to cook, how I store my food and all of that. The third area is going to be the living area where I chill out, what I do, how I watch a movie or read a book or listen to music. The fourth area that we're going to cover is going to be storage, where I store my stuff, obviously. And this thing packs a lot of gear. The fifth thing is going to be all the electrical. So the solar panel, the battery, exactly how it all fits into this nice little compact vehicle. And the sixth thing is how I sleep and how I drive. The setup is the same. So, are you ready for the first one? Let's hit the cab. All right, we are in the cab, and basically, this thing didn't really come with much, as I'm gonna show you. Zeus sits right there at the passenger side. He has his little pouch right here that has all of his belongings, like a jacket and things like that, so when it's cold out. But this is pretty much where he stays. Now down here, I put my five gallon extra water jug there and along with my shoes. So I have a hiking shoes, I have my shower shoes, I have my flip flops and my regular shoes that all stay down there. This of course is the navigation and it actually is wonderful to have. I'm not going to tell you. It has a backup camera, it has uh, music that I can play my audiobooks on and things like that using the car speakers. Um, again, the controls for the heating and the air conditioning are right there. I can plug it in through the USB. But basically, that's where I keep my phone if I'm driving. So I can listen to my iPod, um, my podcasts or anything or an audiobook. I put my iPhone in that. Or I use this right here. So I can put my iPhone there and have some nice driving shots for you all. The rest of it is pretty simple. I use all my controls here to make calls so I don't have to end up switching um, to my phone. And it all plays out here and of course definitely cruise control. So as you can see it's pretty basic in the front. Not much going on here. So let's go to the kitchen. So here we are in the kitchen area and let's take a closer look. So here is my kitchen. So as you can see, I have a sink with running water and this moves up, down, all the way around anyway. I have a key rack right there that I keep all my keys so I know exactly where everything is if I need to get up real quick. I have a humidity and temperature monitor. Of course a mirror, you gotta look good. And I have my spices up here. So these are little things that I have, little twisty things. Um, I've got my hand sanitizer. I've got a toothbrush, things like that, that all hangs in there. I have some lotion and of course my fire extinguisher. I do a fan here just to keep the ventilation going. You know, if it's hot out or whatever, I can be actually able to keep cool and keep comfortable. But this is a nice countertop. What I did though in the kitchen area is I built this folding table. I needed extra counter space and the reason is over on this side right down here this is my stove. It's just a single burner regular butane stove that comes right on out and I'm ready to cook. Usually I do cook up here I do take down my fan 
and I cook from here. I always have my window nice and open, either the doors or I have my fans over here that I have going. So I have ventilation. These are only external. They're vent line and they're external only. So then I have my wonderful prep table and eating table right here. But under here, that is where my pots, pans, and dishes live. And that's it. That's all I have. Can you believe it? Here, let me take it all out for you. We are. Can you believe all this fit in that one cubby? That cubby right there. Now let's go over what I have. The stove you saw me bring out, but I have a collapsible tea kettle. I have my hiking, hiking gear, which is a cup, a pan, a it has fuel and a burner in there, so all this just can go. I have my coffee pot. I have an extra stove if I need two burners, and this runs on also butane. I have my kitchen set, which is actually a cup, plates um, that go in here. I have straw cleaners. I have a windscreen and a regular like eating utensil set. Now, this one has a pot and a pan. And look at this. This is unbelievable. This has a cup, a bowl, two of them. And then this little one, trying to do this with one hand is kind of un unbelievable. Okay. This little one has a fork, a spork, tongs, a flipper, cutting board, scraper, and then I have oils. I have um, sesame oil, and I have regular oil, and I have some more spices, the salt and peppers. Okay. Oh, and a scoop, a spoon. And these basically come out. They, they fold in half. And now you have a regular full size spoon. Now it's also good. What's also nice is there's my pan. So I have a pan. And these open up. Here's the handle. And then it goes right on there. I'm trying to do this one hand. And now there's my pan. So I have a pot and a pan, and really, that's all I need. See the handle? These also come apart, and now you've got a cup and a bowl. There you go. The cup has a little insulation, so if you have a hot beverage, that's okay. You won't burn your hands, and then a little bowl. So all of this comes down into this one nice little package. And what's nice is if you're out outside or whatever, this is waterproof. So this now becomes a dish bowl. You can wash your dishes up in that. Isn't that cool? So let me put this all away and you can see exactly it all put together again. And there you go. That whole package, all that fit in just this little thing. So I have all my kitchen utensils. This is basically all that I need to create scrumptious meals right here in this van. Here are the things that were down below in this one right here. So, this is my quote unquote pantry. These are the things that I use the most. Like I've got some of those, you know, uh, buffalo chicken packets, all right, that I like to have on some tortillas. I've got some curry, rice, of course, soy sauce, you know, 
These are spices that I use quite a most of, so I have bigger bottles of them instead of just having the little ones up there. So this is uh, Aji Shokusho, which is a Japanese salt and pepper. I have a hiking meal in case I go out on a hike. I want to have something to eat. I bring my little stove in this and I'm good to go. So, and then this is the coffee and creamer. And all this fits down in that little space right there. And finally, this little space right here. This, I mostly keep fuel. I have some Ziploc bags, some dog treats, a Parmesan grater, because honestly, I have some dish soap, Dawn dish soap, and some air freshener. But that's all that's really in there. And of course we have our Dometic fridge. Yep, 27 cans of beer, nice and deep. Got some soda in there right now. <laughs> So I have the insulated to help when it's in the summertime it won't go off as often because it will keep it cool. Um, I do have a dish rack in the back here as well as a Korean grill. So I put that on top. This one right here is a Korean grill that goes on top of my dust I and mean, on top of my stove. And then I have a big cutting board. I think I got that one from Lady Bug Out. It has a um, all of like uh, bamboo chopsticks and bamboo uh, utensils in there. Okay, so we went through the cab and we went through the kitchen. So now let's talk about the living room area. Getting ready to just chill out, not have to worry. I will put my feet up, my back against this wall, and I will just relax. Oh, what a long day. Oh, where's my duty? <laughs> He's still in the front. <laughs> so this pretty much is my lounge area. So my puppers, who's in there, he's going to come back here in a minute. He likes to sit at the end and he likes to look out the window. But for me, I have all of my windows tinted. So it's the limo tint, the legal one that I can have in the back. I have the darkest one and it's great because it's UV protection. So it doesn't get too hot in here or anything like that. Even in the you know, Arizona sun, it never got really hot inside the van because it was UV protected. And for the front windows, I use the sunshades. You see they have a nice little lip right here that I keep the sunshade. I keep my bucket that I leave for my gray water underneath where it drains and then I have a shade that if I'm parked it a long time I will have this on the outside so it doesn't get heat into the van. Now we're going to talk about storage. Down here I've got five bins that I keep storage in. So in this one, the first one here, this is all of my laundry, my shower. This is actually my hiking pad that if I end up going on a hike, I've got a backpack in here as well. So, and of course, the wonderful pee bottle. All right. This is if I do laundry in a laundry mat, I've got everything right here. This is my laundry bag. All right. So that is my first one. Oh, and I do have which is kind of nice, these bins. This is the Jackery 240. So I have that there as a secondary backup system should I need power. And I can't get to, you know, the solar isn't charging or whatever. I have a secondary source. They latch by these little toggles. The second one here is all my electronics. Oh yeah, got a lot of them. <laughs> and again, latch. And I just move my little thing here. So I have my little latch here. And this is more hiking stuff and first aid and miscellaneous. So I have 
let's see I got a hammock I've got you know some hiking trekking poles I've got first aid kit shower kit extra batteries bungee cords all that fun stuff is in this bin here so call that the junk drawer this one again the toggle this is so they don't come flying out this is my shower toga this happens to be my um, ottoman some first aid stuff tire patch kit fire kit bungee cord WD-40 and the one on the end here is clothes yes clothes I only allow myself one bin that's all I need and then I just toggle them all so this way they don't go flying out when I'm driving down the road Ta-da! that's from underneath the bed now on the side of the bed I've got a lighting kit I've got a chair that literally folds up to the size of a regular camping chair but it's smaller okay I have my tripod that goes here I have an umbrella and I have tent poles for my z packs tent um, in case I want to have it freestanding so that goes on the end there now around to the back end you saw me put on my moonshade that's where that goes and this is a table a bamboo nice little table and I will do a video on my outside setup you know how I do it in another video but that is the behind the bed now when the bed is in bed mode I have this little like I want to say a shelf because it doesn't really go all the way down because the bed blocks it so I put my little half pillow here that I sleep with and of course if you see my other video there are my huggles I have an extra fan and let's talk about the storage behind and underneath my seats okay storage these pillowcases have zippers on them this is my 20 degree sleeping bag this is my electric blanket and a sheet in here and that one is my 40 degree sleeping bag so the sleeping bags end up becoming little throw pillows so if you have gas or something else you can lounge out and hug a pillow so this is what I have in the box. okay so these were the items that were underneath there the TP solar is a 100 watt solar panel that's foldable I have a washing machine I have the triptix um, composting toilet that's foldable so it folds down to really nothing the lantern with candles compostable bags for my waste I have a wee boost drive and I have my shower platform those I'll go under there how cool is that and here's what I have underneath the driver's side I have my drone I have my Covia Cupid butane heater I have solar charger AC cord I have my composting toilet things my poo powder and um, chips and I have my shower which is a bucket and a shower I also have a camping stove back there that goes on my butane and a mallet and that pretty much does it for the storage of this unit now obviously as you can see I pack a lot in here now that doesn't include the little pop-up tent that I have and that usually just stays in the aisle when I'm driving until I get to where I'm going that's if I'm doing boondocking now because I'm a part-timer 
and Zeus and I dash off to wherever we can go, we know where we're going. So we pack for what we need, whether we want the shower tent or not, we pretty much can shower with the shower toga. And I'll have a video coming out on that as well. So any of the things that you saw, obviously go ahead and put a comment down and I'll get a video out as much as I can or as fast as I can, okay? <laughs> so you gotta bear with me, I'm still new. And here's the electrical system here within the van. So as you can see, I have a 75 AGM battery with a house doctor just like the one in the front. And this charges everything here in the back. And for me, this is enough power. If not, I do have my Jackery 240, which I can charge off the solar pan portable solar panels that I have. Now, say I get a, I need a jump. All I have to do is hit this little button. All I have to do is hit this little button and it'll reverse the polarization from this to jump the van battery if I need it. So we'll reverse the flow. But I gotta push this back to make sure that the flow goes in the right direction, meaning from the van battery to charge up this house battery. This is located underneath the fridge. <laughs> so all I did was take the fridge off and do it that way. So here is the battery doctor up front, right on top of my, as you can see, this is a, see that it pops it out, right? And this just shortened. This makes sure that the house, the chassis battery, which is the van battery, charges my house battery whenever this is on. I have a 110 watt solar panel on the roof as well as two vent line um, vents that go out only. So all you do is you push it up. So you just push it up and you go ahead and turn the fan. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up the bed in bed mode. So basically these curtains have magnets on it. So it's easy to just go like this and I can do this inside the van as well. So I pull it, Zeus loves this part. <laughs> I take the things that were on the shelf in the back here, pull them forward, just put them on here. The back cushion is put on by Velcro. Oh, maybe he's gonna go out the door. <laughs> Pull it through, let it go. This then has a cutout for the wheel well. So all you do is just press it down. Now, I'll put the pillows in the front if I'm not using them. So I will put the pillows in the front and then I will lay this blanket out. I got this at Like Loves. So then I will push the cushions down, get it all ready. Alrighty, time to close up these curtains. These curtains. Finally, the cab curtains. Take whatever pillows I want. And then stick them on the Velcro.
these I just put right in the door over here. And then I'm ready for bed. Oh. Seriously. When I'm traveling and driving, I usually drive with the bed down so I can see out the back window and use my rear view mirror. And then I put the things that are on the hanging on the walls, I'll just put them on the bed. It's not hard to just easily put them back. So this is both my driving and my sleeping mode. Well, thank you for joining us. I know Zeus and I enjoyed having you. We did talk about the six things in my van, which is the cab, the kitchen, the living room, storage, <laughs> electrical, and how we drive and sleep. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I know Zeus and I enjoyed having you see our little home on wheels over the Why not, buddy? Yes. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and you know, ring that bell. You know what to do. Um, if I think you might be interested in something, I will leave some affiliate links down in the description below. If you're interested in something, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll also t tag you on what that item is as well. So, we'll have other videos coming out on like how we set up our base camp, um, how to shower, how we shower out on the road, because sometimes I use my shower tent and sometimes I don't. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas or anything else is that, that you want to see, go ahead and leave that in the description as well. It only helps me out because I can get to know what you guys want. All right? So, thank you again for joining us. We had a great time, didn't we? Zeus and I are going to dash off to our next adventure. So, stop dreaming it and start living it. Bye.